Hey, so this is why a blunt nail doesn't split the end of a wood. This is an explanation. If you work with wood, if you're a carpenter, you might know that if you're working on on the edge of the wood, let's say you have a 2x4 a plank, and you drive a nail through it, and it's not blunt, it's gonna split the edge, which is something you don't want. The nail won't hold as good. This is the explanation why you should blunt your nail. I mean, I didn't know, but I think this is the answer. So here's the explanation. This is a representation of the fibers of the wood. As we all know, wood has fibers. Now, when you drive a nail with a sharp edge, what it what happens is that it goes in between the fibers. Let's say this is this is the sharp nail. It goes in between the fibers and look what it does. It tries to split them. It's okay if you're in the middle of the plank, but if you're on the edge, see, see what it wants to do? Close up, please. It wants to split them, and if you drive it all the way through, it's gonna split the edge of your wood. But what happens when you drive a blunt nail through? Let's say this is the it can go in between the fibers and you drive it through with a nail or with a nail gun, what happens? You break these fibers here. So this is basically what happens. Let's say you drive the nail through and you break the fibers. It's gonna rip more on the other side, but see? It won't split the wood on the edge. So this is the explanation. A sharp point, pointy nail will go in between the fibers and it will want to continue the split up to the end which will give you a split end wood and the blunt nail will break the fibers it will give you a rougher finish on the other side if you can see the nail on the other side but it won't split the edge of your wood. Okay, so this is the explanation. I hope I made it clear and you understood me. Hope it helps. Bye.